Let's play what's that? Mm, the more we get it, the more we want it. What's that? Sleep. Yes, no matter how much we sleep at night, we always want a little more of it when it's time to wake up. On an average, a human sleeps for 9,000 days in his life. That's almost one third of a lifetime. But what if you don't like sleeping? Or you have a job that doesn't let you sleep enough? What if you don't remember the last time you had a good night's sleep? But wait a second, is sleeping really important? How long can we go without sleeping? Days, weeks or months? Let's answer all these questions today. So what happens if we don't sleep? Of course, we'll be tired the next day and some of us might feel a little more hungry. Basically, we won't be in a good mood at all and won't be able to focus on anything. Adults need 7 to 8 hours of sleep every night. Anything less than that is called sleep deprivation. There are two types of sleep deprivation. Partial sleep deprivation, which is missing out on a few hours of sleep and total sleep deprivation, which means no sleep at all. I'm sure we all have been sleep deprived at some time. But say you quit sleeping altogether just to see how long you can survive. So the first 24 hours without sleep is kind of easy. In fact, some of us may have even tried that. You might experience drowsiness, brain fog, impaired concentration and dark circles. But say you force yourself to stay awake beyond 24 hours. Now this gets interesting. You will get really tired and you would notice that you cannot process any new information given to you. In fact, you even start forgetting what you already know. This is slightly like memory loss. You would not be able to take any important decisions and a very shocking symptom is cravings. You might crave a lot of sweets and junk food. That's because your body needs energy. By the end of day two, your brain is begging you to sleep. You will probably face anxiety and restlessness and you may also start hallucinating. Did you know in 2014 a dedicated soccer fan died after staying awake for 48 hours to watch the World Cup? So they say he died due to a stroke but the shocking thing here is that getting less than 6 hours of sleep every night increases your chances of getting a stroke. Okay, so coming back, say somehow you were able to face day two without sleep. But if you keep going on and on, you will be highly delusional and face complex hallucinations. You will start imagining things that don't even exist at all. On day three, your urge to sleep will be impossible to fight. This is when you will also start taking micro naps, that is sleeping for 30 seconds or less. But the scary part is, you won't even know that you are sleeping. Time for a fact check. In 1963, a teenager broke the world record of sleep deprivation and stayed awake without any sleep for 11 days, of course. Later, he slept a lot to recover from extreme physical and mental fatigue. Being sleep deprived regularly can cause obesity, hypertension, diabetes and depression. Your sleep is very important so please don't miss on it for anything. Quit binge watching your favourite TV series, stop the random scrolling on Instagram at night and please don't even try pulling an all night long study marathon just before an exam. You very well know that does not help at all and you can't remember anything while writing your exam. Now you may say I have insomnia, I cannot sleep at night, how do I get good quality sleep? So first. Try to go to bed every night at the same time. It's important to know that you cannot oversleep to make up for the lack of sleep. In fact, sleeping in on the weekend is one of the worst things you can do to recover from a sleep deficit. Another thing you can do to improve the quality of sleep is to avoid looking at screens phones, computers, TVs before you go to bed. The technology used to make these screens has been shown to increase alertness, making it hard to fall asleep. Finally, having a healthy, well-balanced diet and getting enough exercise during the day have also been shown to improve sleep health and sleep quality. So if you're missing out on sleep while watching this video, please go and give your brain the much deserved rest it needs. But, 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 before you go, hit the like button and subscribe to Let's Suit for such amazing content every week. See you later and do sleep well.